Unboxing, we have an unboxing here. Today we are looking at the second set of the Jurassic Park X Transformers Collaborative Series. Released in 2023, this set contains the evil Dilophicon and heroic Autopot JP-12. But before we take a look at the figures, let's look at the box. This time around, we don't have a window, so instead we have a full image of the iconic Jeep and Dino. Up in the corner, we have the 30th anniversary Jurassic Park logo, while the bot names are located at the bottom. On the side, we have a rather ferocious image of the Dilophosaurus from the movie, while the other side just contains a continuation of the image from the front. The back is where we get the actual product shots, though it's all CGI renderings most likely. Over here is Autobot JP-12 and his various accessories. We'll get into those when we review the figure later. On the opposite side, we have Dilophicon showing off what she can do, and up top we have a neat concrete wall with the logos on it. And the bottom is kind of boring, really. Not a bad looking box, but the lack of a window makes it feel less compared to the first set. Anyway, let's open it up and, oh, hello there, Mr. DNA. That's a cute addition that we saw in the last set, too. But we got an unboxing to continue, so we're gonna keep moving on. So this is everything that's inside the box. Doesn't look like much, but we'll get there. Here's the instruction book for the set, printed in green and black, and it looks pretty good. The illustrations are fairly clear and at least somewhat easy to follow. What looks strange, though, is the presentation inside. This is obviously a diorama, but poor Dilophicon has his head all wrapped up, and we have this odd bit of brown corrugated stuck in here, too. Let's get all this out. It takes a little work, but once you're done, you have this really nice-looking setup. This recreates the scene where Dennis Nidri got lost in the park during the rainstorm. We have the little cliff he was on, the rain going on in the background, and the damaged East Dock sign. It's been a while since I've sat down and watched the first movie, so I have no idea how accurate this is to the original, but it still looks pretty dang cool to me, and it's a nice bit of extra effort on Hasbro's part. Bound up with the figures, we also have this little cargo box. It's not part of the scene, but we'll see why it's included later. For now, let's free the figures. Just need to snip these bounding ties. and free up Dilophicon's head. Okay, okay, enough of that now. Let's see what's inside the box. Wrapped up in Autobot-themed tissue paper, we have all the accessories for each of the bots. This is a really neat way to ship that and I appreciate the extra showmanship. Again, Hasbro was trying to put more effort into this than a normal standard release. Anyway, let's go ahead and get everything attached and get the bots in place. And I have to admit, this looks pretty nice. I think the first diorama was a little bit better, but this one is not slouching nearly as much as I thought it was going to. Now, if you want to see the actual reviews for the figures, you'll have to say the magic word. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and I'll see all of you the next time you invade my shelf space.